analytic function or regular or holomorphic function a function w is equal to f of z is said to be analytic at a point z naught if f of z is differentiable at z naught and at every point in some neighborhood of z naught so in that case only so you can say that it is analytic right so here it is given that f of z is equal to z bar z bar means conjugate of z show that f of z is not analytic at any point z naught is it clear so when we said that analytic if f of z is differentiable at z naught and at every point in some neighborhood of z naught is it clear right so now uh, first i want to verify the limit of the function the limit of the function means here it is given that f of z is equal to z bar so therefore f of z plus delta z minus f of z is equal to right so it is given that f of z is equal to z bar it can be written as z plus delta z bar minus f of z is equal to z bar right so as i have mentioned z bar means conjugate of z and z means x plus i y plus delta z means delta x plus i delta y bar minus x plus i y bar right or it can be written as x plus delta x plus i times of right y plus delta y you can separate real and imaginary parts right so i will write x plus i y as it is is it clear right so this can be written as x plus delta x minus i times of y plus delta y minus x minus i y right so further you can simplify right so i will write x plus delta x minus i y minus i delta y minus x minus into minus plus i y minus plus plus minus the remaining thing is delta x minus i delta y right so now divide both sides by delta z and take a limit as delta z tending to 0 so what is the left hand side f of z plus delta z minus f of z divide by delta z take a limit as delta z tending to 0 here also you can divide delta z take the limit delta z tending to a 0 or the same thing can be written as limit delta z tending to 0 delta x minus i delta y divided by so delta z means delta x plus i delta y i will call it as an equation 1 is it clear right so now i want to take a limit delta z tending to 0 along two different paths at least two different paths say for example it is a real path and imaginary path right so delta z is equal to delta x plus i delta y right suppose if we choose the path of delta z tending to 0 along the real axis then automatically delta y becomes zero it means delta z tending to zero is equivalent to uh, delta x tending to a zero is it clear right so in equation 1 we have written delta x plus i delta y along real axis means delta y is equal to zero i want to replace delta y by zero therefore 
what is the left hand side delta z tending to 0 f of z plus delta z minus f of z divided by delta z is equal to limit delta z tending to 0 delta x minus delta y delta x plus i delta y i am going to replace delta y by 0 this is equal to 1 is it clear right so exactly in the similar way now i want to take delta z tending to 0 along imaginary axis right so delta z is equal to delta x plus i delta y along imaginary axis means automatically delta x becomes 0 right delta z tending to 0 is equivalent to delta y tending to 0 again equation 1 becomes or the same equation the same part can be written as f dash z is equal to 1 in this case right again from equation 1 i can write f dash z is equal to limit delta z tending to 0 delta x minus i delta y divided by delta x plus i delta y is equal to now i want to replace delta x by 0 is it clear so delta y cancels with the delta y this is equal to minus 1 is it clear right so in case of real axis what we have obtained we have obtained 1 in case of imaginary axis we have obtained minus 1 so the derivative along two different paths is different from one another is it clear so therefore derivative is not unique hence f of z is not analytic at z thank you